video and sit here and watch the 234B a little bit. I'll kind of talk to y'all and tell y'all what we got going on today. So y'all can see that is some like excellent, excellent wood. Um, she's almost done, so y'all just gonna listen to me talk. They give us, y'all saw the bad wood in today's video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna give y'all a piece of the, I'm, I'm gonna try and give a little something for y'all to watch Saturday and a little something Sunday. And then I'm gonna hold on to most of my footage from this till till Monday. Well, he's got that drag on the other side, let's see. But anyway, zoom y'all in just a little bit so y'all can kind of see a little bit better. So, they give me this second venting to do, and it is like unbelievable, exceptional, I mean just, just oh my god amazing timber, and we're hauling it for pulpwood, so, anyway, what we're doing is, right now, just a little bit, we, we stopped working the first thing and like I told you in today's video we quit working the first thing and to come watch the second or to come do the second thing and today I knew I was gonna have an extra truck today and I knew that I was two loads behind from raining out piece of a day on Tuesday so I decided to come down here and start this and work this now and I got my 12 loads today in this, so that put me back to where I need to be for the week, which is 50. So when we get, I got two more trucks to load. Right now I'm at 48, and I got two more trucks to load, and I'll be at 50 for the week. And um, look at that drag that's getting go. That's, that stuff is long, it is big, it is heavy. The stuff is weighing about, I'm getting sidetracked off my story here, but this stuff is weighing approximately, uh, if I remember right a while ago, they were putting them on the truck and they were weighing about 21, 2200 pounds a tree on average. So I saw an opportunity to get me a couple extra loads now because they're calling for rain again in the morning and if it's raining in the morning I can't haul out of here so I, can, I saw an opportunity to get a couple extra loads for the week so I, I jumped on it and got it and it's almost uh, let's see I think it's almost one o'clock Yep, it's one o'clock on the money. So we'll be done twelve loads pretty easy. I mean, this is good wood. I mean, there, any. I mean, it's. I'm not bragging or anything like that. Just saying we had a, you know, a, a guy saw saw a break there that I could have made for the job, and I jumped on it and seized the opportunity, as some people would say, and got me some extra loads for the week in case I cannot work tomorrow I'll be that um, you know I'll be two loads better than what I was if I wouldn't have done this but this little patch right here was only according to my computer stuff that I have it measured out to be about nine acres and vines stick to everything <laughs> But uh, so it's about nine acres or so that was here. By the time you maybe take out for my air and making the boundary too big, it's probably only eight acres. I said we got we we had two loads of first thin and out this morning, and then we had we've done ten loads in this today off of the eight eight. Well, go ahead and say nine. Done 10 loads off of the 9 acres. Got a 
truck driver coming in. And I think I'm going to try and step over and do a little bit of an interview with him. Get him to ask him questions and... Let y'all kind of meet, meet one of the truck drivers we have. But, uh... Been a good day. Good day. We got some big changes fixing to take place out here for us. Probably going to happen next week. When it happens, I'll, I'll show y'all and explain it. One thing that's uh, promising in the logging industry is change. Lots of change at all times. Popping in here and letting y'all know what we got going on. Doing some really nice second thinning. And doing some second thinning today and starting to we should be doing two more. I think I got two more loads here. And I'm gonna be headed back into the first thinning. And we'll probably we'll probably finish it tomorrow, and then I'll have about 30 to 40 loads of second thinning to do again next week. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute.